Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Wire Ignore. It's a very useful feature when you're working with third party elements or you have some sort of JavaScript based component and you want to prevent it from being updated slash like reloaded. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. Uh, so I'm using on this form, I have this select over here. And as you guys can see, it has a search functionality, right? So the default uh, browser select doesn't have it. So it's a custom JavaScript based element or component and for this one i'm using a package known as select 2 you guys ask me a lot in the comments to showcase select 2 so that's why i'm using it but basically it's a job uh, jquery based uh, you know select okay and i'm just using it as an example you could use a calendar or any other uh, javascript based component and if you go ahead and you initialize this and to show you guys the basically the blade file this is my select as you guys can see i have added some random content it could be anything I have given it an ID, and then at the bottom of my uh, library component, I have a simple code to initialize it, okay? So any inline script. And let's see what happens if we actually try to submit something. So if I go ahead and I use my form, let's say I select a seller, I put some random stuff in, and I click on create, or I submit an action or perform some validation. Right after that, my element gets destroyed. So it is basically reset back to its original HTML, which was the select, right? However, the way LiveWire works is it's not going to go ahead and rerun our JavaScript again, right? So what should we do in those cases? Now, there are technically two potential ways you could go ahead and fix that. One of them is to have hooks on your library component. And every time there is some sort of update, you dispatch a browser event and you reinitialize your component, which is one way of doing it, but that's a little bit too much work. Alternatively, you can go ahead and use wire ignore that I mentioned. So let's see how that works in practice. I'm going to go ahead and in this case, we need to go ahead and add the wire ignore on a wrapper. So I'm going to go ahead and add a div around my component. And I show you guys why I'm adding it on a div instead of on the select itself. And the main reason basically is with select two, it goes ahead and it actually hides this select and adds, I think, another div under it, right? So if we add the wire ignore over here, it's not, it's still going to go ahead and destroy that div. Okay. So first I'm going to add a wrapper around our select and add wire ignore to it, right? As I mentioned, wire ignore basically prevents Liver from reloading this div and everything inside of it. So it's never going to get reloaded or refreshed, right? So the HTML content is going to stay the same. Okay. So now that we have added this, let's go back. I'll do reload and I click on create. And as you guys can see now, even though I'm hitting it like a couple of times, this is staying as is, as you can see, I'm adding it, nothing is happening. So, and that's the power of wire ignore. It basically prevents Liver from refreshing it or updating the HTML for it, right? And even if I add a valid name and I actually create a user, this email already exists. Let's add some random user. As you can see, I created a user, I submitted it and the select to is still working. So it's very useful if you have some sort of uh, form element that uses a JavaScript library and you don't want it from getting destroyed so you don't have to reinitialize it every single time, right? Now, let me show you guys again why I added this uh, wrapper div around my select. So the way select two works and many JavaScript libraries are like that, okay? So this is our select. If I add the wire ignore to the select, it will go ahead and prevent the select from getting reloaded. However, Liver will still go ahead and delete this down here, okay? So this is actually the element itself. So Liver will still go ahead and delete that. And of course, we didn't have that div. And let me show you guys in practice. Again, I'll move this wire ignore to our select. And let's reload. Obviously, it works on the initial load. But if I click on create, as you can see, we don't even see the drop down. Okay. And the reason is select to uh, hit or sets the display property to hidden. So we don't even see it. So you want to go ahead and majority of the time add the wire ignore on some sort of wrapper, a div, whatever you want to use. That's the best way to go about it. So that's wire ignore for you guys. It's extremely useful for cases like this. Now there is another uh, modifier we can add to wire ignore known as wire ignore dot self. And what this would do is it will only make it apply to the div itself or the element you add it to. So with the regular wire ignore, it kind of goes ahead and also applies it to all the children inside, right? So the select is also getting wire ignore. It's as if you also had, uh, you know, wire ignore here as well, right? So that's how the default behavior is. But if you add self, it only applies it to the div, right? So that's the one thing you could use as an extra option. Sometimes you may need to do that. 
So this is the alternative. And let me show you guys, if I add the self, obviously uh, it will stop the form from working. If I submit, as you can see, uh, it still reloaded it, right? So it only applies the wire ignore to the div itself. So something you need, you may need to be aware of in case you need it for one of your projects. So that's it guys for wire ignore. Uh, I think it's a very useful feature if you're using uh, JavaScript based components, which happens sometimes. If you're using tall stack, obviously you don't need to worry about this. Majority of the time, I think with tall stack or if you're using Alpine JS, things just work. But if you're using custom JavaScript components or libraries, this is definitely something you need to know about. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you get notified of my latest videos. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.